Hi folks, welcome to Caliber 3, to our series about tactical equipment. Today I want to talk about front grips on Israeli weapons. So we have the Gilboa over here. You can see the grip that we're going to use on the Gilboa. We have the Commando Tavor with this kind of grip. And we have this Gilboa with a diagonal grip. Okay, let's start with the Commando Tavor. Look, first of all, the advantages of a front grip, it gives you stability. Meaning, if I know how to use it properly, it gives me stability. But let's talk about how we use it. Uh, the advantage of a front grip can be a disadvantage if I don't know how to use the weapon. Now, the pulling system in the Israeli counter-terror method is pulling the weapons towards you and locking the weapon. Now, how do I use the front grip? The, the pulling of the front grip has to be towards me in a straight manner. If I pull it towards the side, like this, then instead of taking the weapon towards me and stabilizing it, I will make it go to the side. Okay? So that's the advantage and disadvantage of the, of the front grip. Now, another disadvantage is if I, let's say, I'm in a rocky area or in an area that has wood and I want to put the weapon on the rock for example like this I have a problem the grip is preventing me from doing it so I have to know how to do it with the front grip again advantage and disadvantage about the Gilboa we're talking about a similar front grip but a little bit shorter, okay? And it's situated a little bit different on this weapon because this weapon is different. Look at this. Again, I'm pulling it towards me like this and not towards the side like this. What most people do is they tend toward, to take it towards the side. Now, <clears throat> look at this one. This is a diagonal front grip. Okay, it's kind of a compromise between this and this because what it does is it helps you hold the front grip as it is, but it doesn't affect the way I pull the weapon. Look at this. Okay guys, thank you for watching our tactical series. See you next week with another chapter on a different subject. Bye.